Okay, what's uh, the next one here? What do you think about Bill this? Bill shave you know, here. Low power. Um, Bill shave here. There's yep. some, like, basilar induction of more of Lewin strand like kind of some follicular induction. There's a lot of spindled cells in the superficial dermis there. That's good for the top of a dermatofibroma. Yeah, good. The, the trick is that this can look like basal cell carcinoma. Usually it does not have clefting. Um, that's one clue that can help me um, to tell that this is hair follicle. These are basically the roots of hair follicle that's growing here. And you can see it's even got like a little bit of a papillary mesenchymal body. Um, and then this one's nice because it's even got those little bright red trichohyalin granules, right? So to show you, this really is a little immature hair follicle growing here. And then that can help you know that that's the same thing that's happening here. So I find that the stroma pushing right up against it and hugging it without that mucin filled little space is a really helpful feature. Also, the presence of all these spindle cells in the dermis kind of swirling around um, and um, wrapping around little tiny bits of collagen is good. This is a dermatofibroma, and sometimes, as you guys know, dermatofibromas can induce the epidermis to grow. They either make the epidermis get acanthotic and hyperpigmented, or and or they can cause little hair follicles to grow that mimic basal cell carcinoma, and or they can cause sebaceous glands to grow. They can induce all of those different things to grow. There's more of the DF right there. So if you think it's basal, but you start to see areas of acanthosis with kind of flattening or tabling of the reedy, then wonder, stop and ask yourself, oh, could this maybe be the top of a dermatofibroma? So that's a kind of useful clue. Um, and it can be hard if it's transected, but finding the, the spindle cells and seeing it pressing right up against the basal are helpful feature, or the uh, basaloid stuff is helpful feature for me to know that it's a benign basaloid follicular induction over a DF rather than basal cell carcinoma. And I have seen a couple times actually of true basal cell carcinoma growing right over or next to a dermatofibroma. But I would say that as a general rule and certainly on an exam, if you think it's basal cell carcinoma plus dermatofibroma, the answer is just dermatofibroma with, with induction, not basal cell. In real life, it can occasionally happen, but it's still pretty rare.